I'm Aaron Bragman for Cars.com here at the 2013 Los Angeles Auto Show. Next to me is the 2014 Nissan Rogue, Nissan's brand new compact SUV meant to take on the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CRV. You may have seen my review on Cars.com, but we thought this is a great opportunity to show you some of the finer points of Nissan's new compact SUV, so let's have a look. Nissan says that the current Rogue appeals over 50% to women. They'd like to broaden their customer base, so they've restyled the new Rogue to be a bit more butch, a bit more masculine, to try and appeal to men as well. You can see the family resemblance to the larger brother Pathfinder in the front end, where we have new LED headlight trim, new daytime running lights, and a more aggressive grille. Out back, we've got new LED taillights as well that'll make the Rogue distinctive even in the dark. Not only does the 14 Rogue look good, but it drives really well. I've driven this exact model. It handles really well, it's tight, the ride is really smooth, it's very quiet. The only issue I have with it is acceleration. It uses a 170 horsepower, two and a half liter, four cylinder engine. Doesn't make a whole lot of movement, but doesn't make more noise. All in all, in everyday driving, not really that bad and still a really nice ride. Inside, the Rogue is all new as well and it's a much better environment than it was before. Materials throughout are premium, really feels good. Great big thick steering wheel, things like standard Bluetooth audio. Really gets a more premium upscale feel to the Rogue. It's also bigger in here, wider, and there's even a lot more space for legroom in the back seat. There's an extra two and a half inches of legroom here in the rear seat. I'm actually sitting behind myself, and I'm not a small guy, and I actually have plenty of room back here. There's vents for rear air conditioning control as well, stadium seating, so you're sitting up a little bit higher than the people in front of you, but that's not the only trick the Rogue has up its sleeve in terms of the interior. The Rogue now features a third row, optional on the base model and the SV mid trim as well. You can't get one on the SL top end trim. If you really want a $30,000 three row crossover, Nissan would like to show you the Pathfinder instead. As you can see, the third row is suitable only for children, small children, and only for short trips. But still, it's something to have, and then pinch if you need it. The 2014 Rogue's refinements also extend to fuel economy. It gets about two to three miles per gallon better than the old model and also better than its competitors like the Honda CRV and Toyota RAV4. It'll start at about $23,000 when it goes on sale in early 2014. You can research more about this car on cars.com. Thanks for joining us.